I see angels physically and first time I remember seeing them, you know, I was lying in my cot as an infant, trying to reach up and catch them to play with them, but I never could. You know, if you're out on the street yourself and you see loads of people, but I see all of those people and I see the guardian angel with them physically as well, regardless of the religion, and I would see other angels as well. It's just normal and natural to me. I see the angel of hope nowadays almost every single day, no matter where I am. He's like a beacon of light. He's like this huge, enormous flame. And within this flame, I see a faint appearance of a man. And he's holding this massive flame. The only way I can describe this flame is like, you know, the Olympic torch. But let me say, it's a billion times bigger than that. And there's just such love and compassion that comes from him in him beckoning to us. I was in LA about maybe a year ago and the angel said to me, Lorna, look ahead. And I saw lots of people, you know, and I saw their angels. And then in the distance, I see the angel of hope. And I saw that he was in front of a young man. And when the young man got closer, I was watching the Angel of Hope turning all the time and beckoning to him and I saw the young man had a suit on him that actually looked shabby looking and the Angel of Hope I was being told was giving him courage and strength you know to look for help. He was going for an interview um, but he was feeling you know I can't really do this and yet someone gave him the suit, had listened to their angel and gave him a suit to wear. And then all of a sudden, the young man just seemed to get energy. He started to walk faster as the angel of hope was beckoning to him. But another thing I saw was he reached into a bin as he passed to see was there anything there. I asked the angels, is he hungry? And I was told yes. And I was told later on he did succeed in getting the job.